Symptoms of a bad MAP sensor. In contemporary engines, the mass airflow, MAF, or manifold absolute pressure, MAP, sensors are used to detect or compute airflow by the engine control module, ECM. While naturally aspirated engines typically employ one or the other, turbocharged engines may use both. The ECM, and consequently the engine, cannot operate properly if the MAP sensor is malfunctioning or damaged. Today, we're exploring symptoms of a bad MAP sensor in your vehicle. So, let's jump right in. What are the symptoms of a bad MAP sensor? 1. Check engine light is on. The diagnostic trouble codes, DTC, for your MAP sensor might indicate anything from simple circuit, sensor, or range errors, depending on how old your car is. A malfunctioning MAP sensor may provide the ECM with data that is illogical, such as low engine vacuum, when the crankshaft position sensor, CKP, and the throttle position sensor, TPS, both indicate the engine is running at idle. 2. MAP Sensor Fault Codes If your check engine light has illuminated, look for the following codes linked to the MAP sensor. P0105, MAP Circuit Malfunction. P0106, MAP, Barometric Pressure Circuit Range, Performance Problem. P0107, Manifold Absolute Pressure, Barometric Pressure Circuit Low Input. P0108, MAP Pressure Circuit High Input. P0109, MAP Borrow Pressure Circuit Intermittent. P1107, Barometric Pressure Sensor Circuit Low Voltage. P0068, MAP, MAF, Throttle Position Correlation. P0069, Manifold Absolute Pressure, Barometric Pressure Correlation. P1106, MAP, Borrow Pressure Circuit Range, Performance Problem. These codes can occasionally be set by other sensors or other malfunctioning components. 3. Low Power. The ECM lowers fuel injection and delays spark timing if it detects high vacuum because it believes the engine load is low. On the one hand, the reduction in gasoline use appears to be a good thing. But if too little fuel is used, the engine does not have the power to accelerate and pass. 4. Failed Emission Test. An increase in hazardous emissions can result from a faulty MAP sensor because fuel injection doesn't match the engine load. Higher hydrocarbon, HC, and carbon monoxide, CO, emissions are produced by using more gasoline, while higher nitrogen oxide, NOx, emissions may result from using less fuel. 5. Poor Fuel Economy. The ECM increases spark timing and adds additional fuel if it detects low or no vacuum because it believes the engine is under heavy load. This results in high gasoline use, poor fuel efficiency, and perhaps detonation. Before we continue uncovering these crucial symptoms, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more valuable automotive insights. Now, let's get back to it. 6. Lean and Rick Air Fuel Mixture. The main function of the MAP sensor is to detect the air pressure in the intake manifold and determine the ideal air fuel ratio for your engine. Your engine may run with an excessively lean air fuel combination if the sensor is malfunctioning. 7. Problem Starting. Similar to this, an excessively rich or lean mixture makes starting the engine challenging. You most likely have a MAP sensor issue if the engine will only start when the accelerator is depressed. 8. Stalling. Stepping on the gas when starting from a stop or attempting a passing move may not be fun, especially if the ECM is feeding you a lean mixture based on inaccurate MAP sensor readings. 9. Rough idling. Inadequate fuel injection depletes the engine's fuel supply, causing rough idling and possibly even sporadic cylinder misfiring. 10. Misfires. When the combustion process inside the engine cylinder fails, misfires happen. A poor spark or an incorrect air-fuel ratio may be to blame for this. In fact, a MAP sensor may make the air-fuel combination so poor that misfires become noticeable. So, how much does a MAP sensor replacement cost? Depending on the automobile model and labor expenses, the average cost to replace a MAP sensor ranges from $60 to $170. The cost of labor ranges from $30 to $70, and the sensor itself is priced between $30 and $100. On most car models, changing the MAP sensor is typically rather simple and may be done by the owner at home. You may easily save money by doing it yourself if you know a little about cars. That concludes our discussion on the warning signs of a bad MAP sensor. If you found this information helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more essential automotive tips. Thanks for watching.